When we saw the models, uh, our imaginations just flew off the charts. And what these soft, flexible models that are completely individualized allow us to do is to really do the surgery that we're about to do on the patient, removing the, the cancerous area and preserving the healthy tissue on a model rather than doing it for the first time on the patient. We were in the operating one room one day doing a robotic um, kidney surgery and we were thinking to ourselves, boy, um, it'd be great if we could feel or see this, this two-dimensional image that we'd been looking at on a screen in our hands. And with our partners at, at 3D Systems, we were able to make a kidney and a kidney tumor that not only looked like a kidney, that not only was three-dimensional, that we could feel and touch in our hands, but it felt like a kidney. The goals of the project, like the project itself, are evolving. So far, we've been able to demonstrate that patients understand better what's going on with them when they see and feel the models. We've demonstrated that students have a better understanding of kidney cancer and kidney anatomy uh, with the models than they do with traditional CT scans. I think that the 3D models, in my experience, have really helped me, particularly, I think, in the really complex renal tumors. Um, those are the ones where you really want to uh, stay away from any surprises on the day of the surgery, and, and I think anecdotally that's really been helpful for me. So this is my left kidney. So this is the tumor that uh, grew out of the uh, bottom part of the kidney. It was fascinating to me, so I was very happy and it was learning as well for me. This project was very unique and very specific and it wouldn't have been possible without having a fantastic partner like 3D Systems that understood not only 3D printing but understood medical modeling. We've taken a, a new leap in 3D modeling and we've taken that leap into soft tissue modeling. 